And good morning to you ladies, my name is Jack Up the Game. Welcome to a game called Banished, where I'm going to be making a little village for myself, hopefully. I don't know how this is gonna go. This is either gonna be super fun, a nice, chill, relaxing kind of thing, which I wanted because I really like these types of games. Where you get in and you build your own little town and you have your own little people and they're going off foraging different things. I've wanted to play another town building game for a while and I've been looking around for, for games that seemed like they'd be a good fit and I don't know, it was kind of hard to find some that I thought would be really, really fun to do, but Disclaimer, any of you who've played this game will probably get very, very annoyed with me because I'm starting from absolute freshness, very first time I've ever loaded up the game, haven't really seen any footage about it at all, but I'm assuming it's kind of like all the other ones, so I'm going to be learning a lot as I go along. So, you can either <laughs> look at this and help me learn, or you look at this and get really annoyed and it won't be for you, so I don't know how this is going to go, but I have been craving a kind of game like this for for a while, um, because I like them. I'm just not very good at them. Um, what should we call our village? I'm gonna call it Chilton. I think that that's a good name for a place. Everyone come and chill in Chilton. Everyone come relax. Terrain size, climate fair, disasters on, starting is. I'm probably just gonna leave these things because I don't really know what they do. A medium game begins with five families. Clothing, food, firewood, tools, and construction materials are provided. A storage barn has already been built. Some seeds for fields and orchards are available. Okay, we'll just start with this and we'll we'll go along. But I like the style of this game because it's medieval looking. Putting clouds in the sky, eroding terrain. Oh yeah. Hello tiny people. Hello people of Chilton. Are you guys having a good time? Are you guys having fun? So. From what I know, this game is pretty big, if you allow it to be. My one is not that big. This is actually a fairly small little area to go around in, but you can make it massive if you want to. But I'm not going to try that just yet because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm glad I got some, like, Mongolian throat singing in the background, though. Got 200 firewood, 40 iron, 120 log, and 60 stone. I'm 67% full. Righty-roady! Um, this is just a storage barn, so I'm assuming I will have to make stone house, boarding house, wooden house. Provides a place for citizens to live, eat, store food, and stay warm. But how many people can stay in this? Fuck it, we'll, st we'll start with the house. How do I rotate this? Oh, R. Okay. Let's start with the house. Hmm, over here. Oh, I can't place it there? Why? A wooden house cannot be placed in this location. Then why are you showing me green? <gasps> I built two! Oh shit, I didn't realize I actually tried to build one already. Oh no. Well, now we have two houses. A place for everybody to sit and live in Chilton. Hope you guys are feeling tranquil. I am one with the heavens. How could one person not be feeling so tranquil when you've got the gods and the angels to look down upon you. Thank you. Papa bless emoji. Um, what else can we make? we we'll make a dirt road, a stone road. Okay, I'm not making roads just yet. Storage barn, a stockpile, a market, a trading post. Well, schoolhouse, hospital, town hall, chapel. I thought there'd be some sort of tutorial. Maybe I should have done that. A crop field, an orchard, a pasture. Whoa ho ho! Whoa ho ho! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what my next, uh, my next move is. I don't know what the next good thing to actually build is. Are you guys collecting stuff or are you just out talking? You're just out in the woods talking to each other. Do you see what Bill did to Sarah? I know. What a fucking douchebag. Okay, let's go back into town before they hear us. I think Steve actually went over to look at some rocks. Okay, let's go home. I don't even worry, folks. I did a tutorial. I did one tutorial. So I kind of have some basics down. So now we can go like this. Well, it was showing me everywhere everything was. So, um, remove resources. I want to start gathering resources. So I'm just going to remove some resources like in this area. 
You guys just remove everything in there. Just clear it all out. Global warming and deforestation be damned. I don't have time to be worrying about that when my little people don't even have homes. I also found out that yellow things above their heads means that they don't have a house to sleep in. Which is super freaking sad. We don't even have a house for you guys. What are we going to do? All right, I'm going to put a fishing dock over yonder. Uh, you have to go this way, maybe? Yes. A fishing dock is going down over there. Great! Goodness! Goody gumdrops! I'm glad about that. That's a thing that's going really great in our lives right now. Um, we have a barn. And we have a stockpile, so I don't need to make them. I might have to make some more houses. Um, I'll just have another house going over here. Perfect. That's gonna be a doozy! We have a stockpile of wood already, so I don't really know about that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where was the thing? Um, show general stats. No, where was the thing where I assign people? This one. I need to assign some builders and some fishermen. Uh, maybe I can get away with two fishermen. Ah, uh, four fishermen. I need a lot of people producing a lot of food. And I need to also make a... A woodcutter place. Alright, so... The question marks above people's heads are the ones that I've assigned to be fishermen, but the fisherman place isn't built yet, so I have a lot of stuff... ...ready to go, and I'm gonna speed it up. Go, little people of Chilton! Go, little chillers! That's what the people of Chilton are called. The chillers. Isn't that cool? They... They get confused with the killers all the time. Kill those animals! People of Chilton! I decree! Kill those motherfuckers! Can I assign, like, like hunters? Hunting cabin. Used to define an area for hunting wild game. Would y'all like a hunting cabin? I feel like a hunting cabin would go down right well with the people of Chilton. I feel like that would be right fine and dandy. Um, and I will put... I can't put fucking anybody in there yet. It's fine, hunting cabin. It's okay. My little chillers are still moving along, and I've built two houses, and some houses went across or went away from people's heads. So that's good. Go, chillers! Are you guys being chill AF? I hope so. So then hopefully when I have the basic resources in place, stuff will start going well. I'll start producing a lot of resources, a lot of fish. Well, we're going to be a fish-centric kind of town, I feel. Okay, I still don't think I have enough houses for everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many people do I have overall? That's a question Jack needs answered. Um, Chilton, population. Uh, where's my population? I don't fucking know. Number of adult students and children. Oh, so, ten, so I have 18 altogether. 18? That good? So one, two, three, I don't know how many of these house. Five? There's five, six left. Somebody might have to go without a house. And I'm not, I sure as hell do not care who it is. Um, let's remove all the resources here. Is removing all the resources a good or a catastrophic? Catastrophic idea. No, 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 don't remove resources. Guys, it's raining! Are you guys okay? Oh, I have to assign a woodcutter. Get inside, Maisie! And we'll assign three hunters. Wait, is... Oh, four was the max I could actually assign in the fishing Hamptons. 16% fall. 57% fall. I'm worried about my little dudes. They're all outside in the fucking rain. What are we going to do about that? Wait, what way do these fucking houses face? Where's the door? I don't have fucking time to be worrying about no door. And we're going to make a dirt road. And the dirt road is going to go... Uh, boom jam? And then, like, a busy bop. And then a hizzity hiz. Fucking taste delicious, my homios. That's a new brand of cereal. It's like Oreo cereal, but made out of like gangsters. They're called homeos. Do people have a house? I don't know. It's time to play God and speed up my tiny little minions. 
They were actually already working at five times speed, so... Fuck on me, right? There's deer walking all over the place, walking into fucking Chilton, thinking that they own the place. <gasps> Somebody killed one! Yes! Gather that resource, eh? Are you gonna gather it? Fuck yeah! Dude, we're gonna have food for weeks! We're gonna survive this long winter, Game of Thrones be damned. Can I build a bridge? And then get over it, maybe? Boarding house provides a temporary place for the homeless to live. No! A tunnel allows citizens to move through mountains. And a wooden bridge. Why can't I build my fucking bridge? A wooden bridge cannot be placed in this location. Well, ha, fuck you, it can because I just did it. What does this mean? I don't know what this means. The production limit for this resource has been reached. Does that mean you did good? I hope so. There's a lot of stuff going on in Chilton right now, okay? And I cannot be held accustomed and accounted for for all of this shit. Maybe we'll make a well? Provides water for putting out fires. Ain't nobody gonna be fucking putting fires in Chilton, okay? Forester Lodge used to define an area to selectively cut down trees and plant new seedlings. Ooh. I'm gonna put you in there. I have two builders not building anything! What are you all up to? Maybe they're actually still gathering resources because I did tell them to take out half a uh, fucking continent worth of materials. So it's fine, it's fine. It's wor work away. Work away. Get shit done. I'll make a brewery eventually and a brothel and you can all go have debauchery and fun. Ah, boys, it's raining. Boys, localized area for citizens to collect food, tools, and fuel. Should I build a market? Holy Jesus and his 12 apostles. That is not something we need right now. It's fucking snowing in Chilton. Living up to its name. Oh, the place actually gets snowy. That's gorgeous. I hope you guys appreciate what Snow Jesus has done for us this day. Blessings upon us. Haven't built a bridge yet. Haven't built the house. Haven't built this. Oh, uh, this thing is under. That thing is built. Mother of God. Can I not put any people in it? Do I actually have people to spare? I don't think I have people to spare. I think that that is a- Ah! That is a crux of our society right now. I think I ran out of people. Uh, maybe if I take one off fishing duty? Can I put them in there? Yes. It's hard to see all these numbers, okay? I'm not a mathematician. I'm not an accountant. I'm a Lord Overseer of Chilton, USA, and my citizens are feeling the chill of the winter right now, and some of them don't even have houses and they're gonna freeze to death and die. But they don't have little freezy symbols over their head yet, so... You know, it might be doing okay. What time of the year is it? Can I see an overview? It's early winter! Okay, that's good. That's good, that's fine. Finally, you guys have decided to see the light and build a new house. Instead of freezing and building bridges and freaking seedling factories, you might as well build something that you can live in and not die. You're building a mighty fine bridge, lads! If we ever get into trouble with someone, we can just say, hey, we built a bridge, so fucking get over it. And leave Chilton. If anyone is creating any sort of discourse in Chilton, I'm not having any of that. That's not on. I'd be having no one acting the maggot around here. That changed very fast. Still waiting on people to build a house. <gasps> Tiny little baby trees! The size of giant mushrooms! This place is going fucking fantastically well. Look at all the trees we're planting in this area. Oh, that's what was going on. Okay. Storage for logs, stone, and iron is near capacity. Okay, so maybe stop fucking putting things in it. Do I have to create another fucking storage barn out in the middle of the Himalayas? We'll put one there. Are you guys gonna start building that instead of my fucking house down here where no one is living? This tree is freaking the fuck out. It's okay tree, calm down. Okay, we're gonna go do something here. I'm gonna remove this. Because that house is fucking tainted. No one wanted that. that. That was a terrible house. I'm gonna put it here instead. 
Maybe if I assign a new one, people will start building? I don't know. I guess people just love being homeless in Chilton. That's because that's how chill we are. We grow our own weed and we're that fucking chill that no one anywhere ever wants to live. I put another stockpile over here as well because it's in the middle of the woods and I think that that's alright. I think that that's okay. I think that that's a thing that I'm allowed to do because I am the owner, mayor, and overseer of fucking Chilton. Okay, and nobody can tell me what I can and can't do. I can tell the citizens what they can and can't do though because I am lord, overseer, and mayor of Chilton. You get it? You feel? You dig? There we fucking go! People at Chilton, y'all! They came together in the end. They're a little fucking stupid. But overall, they get there in the end. They they meet their mark. They hit their they hit their zone. Production of this is just halted as well. God, my guys are too awesome. Can I get a house down here? I can. I can, I will, I shall, and it is done. The Lord Overseer and Hero of Chilton has deemed it worthy. House is going up. Can somebody anywhere? Harvest this fucking tree. It's driving me insane. Praise the overlords of Chilton. That's me. I'm fucking doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, okay, Lady, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day that greatness has come towards Chilton. We have been graced, nay, privileged by the gods. That a market is coming to town. I know. Crazy. Are we worthy? Are we ready? I honestly don't know. I don't know if Chilton is ready. Look into my eyes. Look into my steely eyes and my determination right now. We can do this. Together. At last. Forever. The market is underway. We are bringing a new chapter to Chilton. Chilton will never be the same ever again. Capitalism is the order of the day. Bob, Margaret, Sally, Theodore, Humphrey, G G Gerald, uh, Maisie, Timmy, uh, fucking Mildred, get in there! Oh, you smell fish. You were like, hmm, I'm gonna have me a piece of that. It's not fucking cooked. Mildred, there, she's actually just transporting. She devoured an entire crate of fish. She's a beast. A harsh, harsh winter has come over the area of Chilton this year. Some are calling it the long winter. Others say, ah, it's already over. So I don't know what people are freaking out about. Uh, I'm one of those people. Um, and then others are like, wait, no, you're a fucking liar. It's back. The rivers are slowed down. It's all frozen. Can't even piss because my blather's frozen. So I'm going to go in and just smoke some cigars and wait this motherfucker out. People of Chilton, this is not the way. This is not the way. The frozen fields of Chilton are still harvestable. Deep beneath that white, crunchy surface is a gooey, grassy, composty center. You need to get your shit together. The reserve of food is low. Oh. Should I be making more food? Uh, food production. Should I- Pasture provides an area for livestock to graze. Used to divide an area for hunting the wild. Okay, I might get a pasture over here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. That's basically what this game is. Chilton is a, like, fucking kind of town. It's like a fuck it, we'll try it and see what happens and die in glory if it doesn't work kind of town. It's my kind of town. Sure, the citizens don't really want any of that. But I mean, I am the Lord Overseer, uh, God of this world, and they're just gonna have to listen to me and go with my roll with the punches, people. Get a grip. Wake up to reality and just figure out what's going on with your life because I I can't I can't do that for you I can't be the one that's like yes do this you have to figure this shit out on your own and If you can't figure it out on your own then you're on your own basically would you look at that? The market is ready. How many people do I have? I have seven potential people I could put in there. I'm gonna put in four There we go Cause I'm gonna have to put somebody in this as well. This isn't built yet. It's almost there. The people of Chilton rallying together, making a pasture field, food and water reserves. The reserve for firewood is low. The reserve for tools is low. 
Chilton, Chilton, what do you want from me? How do I build a thing for tools? I don't know. Allows for the trade of resources with merchants. Is that good? Go dudes, work your asses off. There we go. Gonna put two people in there. Two people are gonna be working in the pastures. What does this mean? What is this on my screen? What is this nonsense? I don't know, can I, can I hit help? Help menu? Can I, what does this mean? Work is disabled at this location. Why? There are citizens without jobs. Click here to select and cycle through them. Citizen! Why don't you have a job? Job herdsman! I, I told you to work here. I actually told a bunch of people to work here and I don't know why they're not. Is it because you can't access it or something? Are you supposed to access it over here? Is there a, is there a, a, a problem going on here? If I remove some resources maybe? Will that, will that clear things up? Get rid of some little rocks and shit? Maybe build a path over here? I don't know. Tell me what you need, game. I will make it so. Hey, well that does it for this episode of Banished. I'm going to let the little chillers here work through this land, chop down every resource that God has laid down here, and just like really fuck this shit up. Like, just go ham on this area and take everything back for the town of Chilton. No idea what I'm doing, but I seem to be doing okay so far. I'll figure out why this doesn't work. Hopefully, maybe I'll figure out the resource situation. I think some of my people have died. I don't know. There's a lot of moving parts got to do with ruling a city and some of it has got to do with building a city and then tearing it down and building a better city from the ruins of what you had. It's like breaking a bone. You break a bone, then you reset it, and then the bone grows back stronger than it's ever been before. That's science, that's irrefutable doctor facts, and I will be having none of it. But for now, thank you guys! So much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face, like a boss, and hey, face all out. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys. I will see you, dudes. Let's play.